In the gate. And the Roth and the La Trienne. Tis Windy broke okay toward the inside, but here comes Sweet Whiskey racing out after that lead. Sweet Whiskey on to set the pace. Gold medal dancer seconded outside. My Miss Sophia comes away racing in third as Sweet Whiskey steps on it early and opens up. Sweet Whiskey clear by three. Gold medal dancers back running in second. My Miss Sophia's third. Sheer Drama's running in fourth. Frivolous on the outside, fifth by three. Molly Morgan settles in toward the rail from six. That is Tiz Windy in seventh by another three to America. And a big break back to the late running interest free, who's at least a dozen lengths behind. Behind a solid first quarter in 23 seconds flat. Down the back stretch for Sweet Whiskey. Loose on an uncontested lead. Clear by three, but now here comes Gold Medal Dancer getting a bit closer from second. My Miss Sophia is also gaining ground toward the rail from third. Sheer Dramas in the clear on the outside from fourth. Molly Morgan is fifth. Tiz Windy's advancing out of sixth. Frivolous is seventh. America and a long way back to interest free as the field rounds the far turn. The half mile was solid. 46 and four fifth seconds. Here comes Gold Medal Dancer up to put a nose in front of Sweet Whiskey. Sheer Dramas right there to the outside in third and coming with a bid. And in behind is Molly Morgan. Nowhere to go, though. Tiz Windy swings wide by Miss Sophia. Shuffled back. Top of the stretch. It's wide open. Top of the lane. And here comes Molly Morgan. Shooting through toward the rail to take the lead outside the eighth pole. Gold medal dancer now second. Sheer drama third. Tiz Windy is grinding it out. But is fourth with a 16th to go. It's Molly Morgan in front. Reaching out for the wire. Molly Morgan up the rail to victory. Over sheer drama, gold medal dancer, and Tiz Windy. Corey Landry, Molly Morgan in this grade one La Troyenne stakes, and the winner's share of a $300,000 purse right on the money once again. Well, uh, really, the race set up the way that I was hoping it would, Lafitte, with Sweet Whiskey going around two turns for the first time. It only gone one turn in, uh, in her career, and anytime you see that with a horse that shows a lot of speed, you would anticipate a fast pace here, but just a, a beautiful trip for Molly Morgan, and you heard Trevor Stone made mention that Molly Morgan, nowhere to go early, and he just stayed right on the rail and just a perfectly timed ride there from Corey Lannery, who knows this track extremely well. Excited Corey Lannery. Dale Romans has a filly in the Yokes. He has a Colt in the Derby. And this is the old Shackelford owner-trainer combination. Bill Cubbage, trainer Dale Roman. Shackelford, who ran fourth in the Kentucky Derby, came back to turn the tables on Animal Kingdom in the Preak Mistakes. We can pick up the action, turning for home, and there is Corey Lannery, Molly Morgan, looking for room along the inside, scraping paint, saving ground. Yeah, and I think any time that that happens, Lafitte, just from a handicapper's point of view, is that when you know that, you have a feeling, I should say, is that the speed horse, which was Sweet Whiskey, the three horse who's backing up dramatically right now, is there's, there's a horse like that back up into the horse that's trying to save ground. I mean, when you do stay on the rail, you have that, uh, you're not in control of that, but for me, uh, perfectly timed ride to save ground all the way and uh, a very evenly run race. But the key to the race was Sweet Whiskey getting out there quick, <laughs> quick fractions, and you see the reaction from Corey Lannery. That's what it feels like, what it looks like to win a grade one event in front of 100,000 on the undercard of the Kentucky Oaks and Corey Lannery with Molly Morgan. And, and avenging her second place finish here from a season ago, she was second to On Fire Baby in this race last year. Trained by Dale Romans, who you just saw. She shows up the following year and is able to get that.